our model is ready to analysis but before that we have to assign mesh so what is mesh actually when we are uh, going to analysis a slab or any element of the test structure then uh, if we do not provide any mesh that means software will consider that this is the one part of an element but we know github software or the most of the software available in the market now work with finite element method and uh, if we divide that portion with very a small element then it will be very uh, i mean we'll get a good result from here now to uh, and i assign mesh we have to select different different element first now i will go for uh, first of all we'll go for selection i'll go select then select object type and from here what will select sorry not from here select then select then properties then we'll go slab section so here we'll uh, define all types of slab section and click select you will see that all types of slab slab section we have selected now i'll go here assign assign then go to shell and when uh, we are going for any types of slab or slab type or flow floor type elements then we have to go for shell then uh, go below and click here floor auto mesh option i'll click here and here you will see different types of option is available okay so uh, you may use that option but i'll use that option all as i use that option auto quick cut cookie cut object into a structural element okay and here the further mesh where needed to uh, maximum element size it will mesh automatically okay as requirement but if uh, somewhere it's not able to do it then we can consider 24 inch okay that means two feet by two feet uh, element will be created when it will go for analysis then click apply so it's done i'll click ok now again i'll just go back go select properties then all section and from all i'll select all section all of that all section and go for assign all auto mesh option and here same auto rectangular and uh, go here for two feet it's okay and go okay and apply done now uh, we have to do another thing here so only i will select okay now we have to uh, complete another elements or another text how we'll do it see uh let me select select right click show selected object only and if i just go here see the overall here overall of a portion are free but we know uh, this is 10 feet and here we'll get a a spindle right that means uh, we'll get an element like beam here and below that we'll get our door so we have to complete that to do it everywhere we have to do it so to do it i'll just go to our ground floor first first we'll go to our basement floor here actually okay so we are here and that point 
and now we have to change something we'll change that all and also or we'll deal delete that all also that all and that all okay so when it's done now again i'll go here all what is that option and 10 inch all everything is okay from that portion to that portion see we know uh, our uh, uh, that inset portion will be locked we know about that and must remember it should be on a story and close and i'll go here we'll go here that's it so when it's okay now we have to draw here some spandle how we'll do that now we'll learn how we'll do that so for that i'll skip it and i'll go our above floor by clicking here and here i'll take some null line frame and property type none we'll delete it later and from that point to that point i'll take it very carefully and from that point to that point done so now must remember that we have to extend that now for three feet okay for three feet and the raised seven feet will be our i mean the rest seven feet will be our door now to do that uh oh, sorry i have made a mistake because here in reference plane i have taken to null line i will delete it and i'll go above 